Hey there guys, this is Deep Toonster again. We're back with Mario & Luigi, the Starlight Worlds. That's Starlight, like L-I-T-E, not L-I-G-H-T. It's a little odd to me, but whatever. Okay, hold A as you walk to the block. So hold this as I walk to the block. I think I'm doing that. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I did set Z to my controller, so that will, won't be an issue anymore. As far as having to switch back and forth. So hopefully that's the last thing I have to bind. Let's see what's in this little box, shall we? Uh, if I can maybe get in front of it. And then punch it. Found a Goom Nut. What does that do? Let's find out. Goom Nut. Source value of FP to one party number. That's look like they've been dropped. Can I use these at all? Maybe not. Doesn't matter. Let's get on with the show here. So yeah, this game actually uh, had a little bit of an update a few days ago. This is like version 1.3.2 or something like that. So that's pretty sweet. What do I do about these bars here? Can I walk up to them and press A like I did before? Doesn't look like it, so maybe I'll have to go the other way. They're just tell me. I keep going to the menu accidentally. That's pretty dumb. I'm trying to see if there's a button I can hold to maybe run, but... It's nothing I found so far, so we'll just have to tolerate Bowser's movement speed as it is. So, more wall breaking. Seems like you have to get into the perfect spot to try to break it, too. Hold A. Okay. Okay, here we go. Alright. I think I might just be doing that all stupid. It's probably not as hard as what it seems there. Okay, so can I... Oh, well, this is a cutscene. Great, more blocks for me to punch through. These ones look slightly different. Your brashness, I'm not sure these are... Oh! What a horrible noise. Man, that hurt. What in the world is this thing made of? So I was trying to say your powerfulness. I believe these blocks may be different in before. So what do we do then? Because you're definitely not leaving me behind. Well, you're the one who's been in the lead this whole time. Aha, let me see what I can do with this object. It may be a switch. Whatever, just make it quick. Timing this is the same as timing Cammy's regular attack. Really? Just hit a button? Okay. Oops! Ah, I forgot X is the freaking circle. That is going to confuse the hell out of me. But I don't want to change it because it wouldn't make much sense to have X be like the cancel button. But whatever. Okay, so this is C. You gotta remember that. Z is easy to remember because I just set that. You now hit special switches with Cammy. Your slice encounter, walk up to the object holding A. That's so weird. Why would you have to walk? Why couldn't you just walk up to it and hit A? Why do you have to walk up to it and hit A? Or while holding A? Seems like a very odd choice to me. But! I'm not the one who programmed this game. Okay, so go up here, punch the hell out of the block, and another free mushroom. Can I punch these rocks at all? Maybe not. How do I get through? Okay, I guess I can get through that. Alright, we're gonna need Cammy for this. I guess I can just walk up to it and hit X. Oh, I hit pff, hit the wrong button again. What the heck? Yeah, I can just hit X. Dude! Hit the freaking right button. Okay. I, I hit the right button that time. Wait, no I didn't. I hit the wrong one. Oh, this is confusing me to all hell, guys. There we go, finally. Holy crap. Because it says C and X, and you think C stands for Urkel. Or Ur Urkel. For Circle. <laughs> Urkel. That's what I get for watching that freaking Board James episode before doing this. But yeah, I, I try to hit Circle whenever it says C, because, you know, C, Circle. You get the idea. It's just weird how it all turned out. Hey, you tell me who your leader is or else I'll force it out of you. You have to catch me first. Oh, this guy's gonna get it. To earn a first strike, you'll need to use your mouse. Okay, so this is what I was thinking of. I, I didn't know if I would have to use the mouse at all in this game. Click on the enemy to make them vulnerable. You can tell this by their color change. Well, I like this. Initiate the battle by running into them. They will then have a first strike. However, enemies will only stay in that state for a short period of time, so you must act quickly. So you click on the enemy, it will change in the mouse icon. Now try it out on the enemy and more enemies along the way. 
And I don't know how often I would be doing this. Oh, I didn't get it clicked in that time. So I guess we're just gonna battle normally. That's fine. Um, probably getting that first strike is really important, though, I would think. So maybe I should be doing that a lot more often. Alright. I, I swear I hit the button there. I don't know why it... Okay, I guarded that. Okay, so I have to actually hit it a bit after the animation, actually. Like, right when it's showing them inside of the character is when I try to guard it. I wonder if Cammy can live through another barrage. I think she should be able to, unless they both attack her. But we're gonna go for it anyway. Ugh, oh, I was too slow, it looked like. So, yeah, her attack is gonna maybe give me a little bit of problems here, off the bat. Alright, they did both hit her, but I got... I got a little lucky and was able to guard that first one pretty well. So that worked out alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to actually have Cammy use an item on herself so she doesn't die. That'd be the best course of action here. Yeah. So Bowser's attack is really easy. You're just holding the button until the bar fills up and... Kaboosh! Just like that. Okay. Alright, there we go. Finally got it. Take that. So it should be finished off right here as my next attack. Oh, I actually failed it that time. <laughs> wow, that was pretty sad. But a funny animation nonetheless. Alright, now I'm getting the hang of hitting X and circle and all that crap when I have to. So that's a good sign. Alright, so we're good there. Hey, what's this? Can I jump? Oh, no. It looked like I was in the air for a little bit. Just kind of a weird illusion there. So that must be the gate in that other room I was trying to get through. I don't know what the heck this stuff is supposed to be. It looks like peanut butter or something. I guess you gotta give it a spoon or something. <laughs> I don't know. So let me go back to that room. Crap. Ugh, I'm getting caught on the edges and everything. Yeah, I can, st I can do the diagonal movement. It just takes like a maybe a half a second for it to register the second direction and start moving me there. Actually, it's not too bad there. It's actually not too bad there. Huh. Well, I don't know. So, can I actually break these other blocks now? Or do I just have to always do the middle one? Oh, I guess I can do the other ones if I want to. So, that's alright. So, finally go up past this gate. I don't even remember what our goal in this dungeon is supposed to be. Why are we even in here? And now, what's this supposed to be? Oh, now I gotta spell Kong in this game, too? I gotta Kong through this game? Seems to be another switch I'd be able to hit if I use my broom. Well, use it! Oh, wait, you don't have it, do you? Well, you do have it. You said you could go ahead of me. This appears to be a good place to take off. Here we go again. Came to Mount of Broom. Approach a purple path with K and press C. So it looks like there is going to be quite a few in spots in this game where we're going to be using Bowser and Cammy because they're introducing quite a few abilities. I don't think you would have these just for a small part of the game. At least that would be kind of silly to do that. Alright. Dis I didn't even pay attention to that last thing. I have no idea how to control this. Dismount. Turn to your starting position. Face the pad and press C. So I guess I just gotta move up and... Uh, try to do her thing then. Okay, I can move like this. And then just... Pretty much do the same thing I do in the ground. Alright, that's... Easy enough. Can I not go down anymore? Oh yeah, I can. Alright, we're good. Alright, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, mate. More peanut butter. Am I going to be able to climb that eventually? I don't know. Let's make a quick save. Continue on. Oh, the Goomba. Oh, I want to click it. I want to try the click thing out at least once, at least. Did I get it? I swear I clicked it. Do I have to right click it? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe I should just forgo that altogether. Maybe give myself a little bit of a challenge of never ha being able to first strike something. I don't know. I swear to God I hit that button at the right time. Being robbed, man. Being robbed of my button hits. 
Alright, here we go. Kablooey! Just gotta like, take my finger off the triangle button, like, two seconds before it gets to the end of that bar and it looks like I'm good. Yeah. Okay, okay. As far as the battles goes, it's not... It doesn't seem to be quite as fast-paced as what the Mario Luigi goes, just because it looks like... The overall animations are a lot slower, but that's not too big of an issue, really. The battles still are going by relatively quickly. So there's no complaints there. Especially this, like, ending screen here. Like, I'd be back in the overworld right now if this is actually Mario Luigi. That's how quickly they take you through all the minis and stuff in that game. Battles really don't last at all, long at all in that game, unless you're fighting a boss or something like that. Okay, so, looks like Cammy's gonna need a little bit of a pick-me-up, and uh, I could save this. Battles could probably take a little bit more abuse before we have to start pumping him. Goodbye block. And check my game time here quick. Okay. Seem to be doing alright. Doing alright. Goodbye other block. I do want to kind of take on that Goomba just for experience and maybe try to... Okay. I guess I have to hold the click down when I'm approaching it to get the first strike. Either way, I got it there, so this should go by a little bit quicker since I don't have to beat blocking a bunch of stuff. And there's only one of them this time, so that's great. Oh, it looks like I did already hit level 2. Maybe I was wondering if there was going to be some system where every time you level up, you get to increase your stats in some way, like a lot of the other Mario RPGs do. The heck? What was that? Just a random status clear? I guess you can just randomly get your status ailments taken care of. Fortunately, I didn't really have any there, so... Didn't really affect too much. Okay, so, so far, the designs of the dungeon... It's been pretty straightforward, really. I'm just heading up these rooms and using abilities to get past blocks and doors and all that. There's nothing too crazy here yet. Take that! Oh, I thought I got first strike. Oh, I didn't. I just ran into him. That's right. Okay, so Bowser. Yeah, I shouldn't be stingy. I'll go ahead and give you a mushroom. I don't know if there's crits or anything like that in this game, so it's probably best to just play it safe. Oh, man, you gotta really be quick on those buttons. What's taking me so long to register? Right, because I keep having to think about the X to the C conversion and all that bull crap. Okay, there we go. I mean, they show it to you quite a bit before it actually pops up. So I think I'm just slow. Is what the problem is. Blah, blah. So I get my three. Maybe not. Probably just hit two. Oh, actually, we're getting close. Getting pretty close. This will probably take care of it right here. Okay, that time I was holding down the click, but he didn't get disabled, so this is kind of a odd system to me, the first strikes and everything. Maybe you have to actually keep the mouse on them. I think I was doing that before, though. So, I don't know. Ah, crap. Yeah, that's the risk you take by trying to fill it up all the way all the time. So you're going to be missing a few of them. But that's alright. At least I was able to get that. Oh, man. Okay. I think it's mushroom time. And boom, there we go. Boom, there we go. Alright, there's my level 3. I think I'm happy with that. I do want to use a mushroom on Cammy real quick though, since... Well, we've only got two left. I thought I had more than that. But I have been using a few throughout this dungeon. This guy's going to stand in my way. I do want to try to first strike him, and I did get it there it looks like. So that's good. Crap. So yeah, I know, there's really not much interesting happening early on in the game here. But that's to be expected really.
Holy crap, I guess there are crits in this game, because it looks like I just got one. So that's sweet. I really just wanted to get this game a try, because, again, it was recommended to me, or suggested to me, and... I am a fan of Mario RPG games, and so far I'm liking this one, so... We're gonna see where it goes. And, of course, I'll be playing more Majora's Mask on this channel as well, getting that all finished up for anybody who's wondering about that or freaking out about that which I know pretty much everyone has because it's been pretty much a year since I started that LP it's kind of ridiculous uh, can I go up <laughs> no I guess it's just for going across here there wasn't anything I could do over here right I actually wasn't paying too much attention I was paying more attention it's one of these blocks uh, I guess I'll try to go up there first probably have to deal with this thing though in fact, I'm probably just going to start cutting some of these battles out, because it looks like they've been pretty much the same thing for a while now, so you don't have to watch all this over and over again. So let's see if I can take on these blocks. I need Cammy for this, right? I thought she was the one who got rid of them. I actually completely forgot how I got rid of them last time. It's probably something I have to press over here, which will get rid of them, so we should probably go over here first. Pretty much what I was doing this whole time, really. Oh, he's gonna camp me down here, is he? Not much I can do about that. Shit, <laughs> yep. Alright, got him out of the way. I think I'm gonna actually try to dodge the. Oh, he caught me. <laughs> oh, he stops chasing me after a while. Yeah, I think I'll dodge that fight. Oh, uh. I can get Cammy. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Still have no idea about these peanut butters on the wall. These little lines of peanut butter. Peanut butter falls is what I want to call them. And just because I'm an experienced whore, I'm going to take this guy out real quick. Alright, that actually gave me up to, or got me up to level 4. That was three of those guys there. So that's sweet. Alright, let's get across here. And down we go. So, blocks aren't here anymore. I uh, imagine we should be getting close to a boss battle or something here soon, but... No, well, maybe not. Wait a minute, where's this going to take me? Oh, okay, I guess you just have to follow the path all the time. I wonder what the point of that was, because you can get to this point anyway without Cammy. so why even have that little section there where you have to fly with her? I don't know. Looks like we've come to another big point of this dungeon, though, so... I mean, for our first dungeon, it's actually taken us quite a way through here, so... I think we're going to continue on next time, and I'll see you guys then! Thank you for watching! So far, this game's doing a lot of things right. It's got the mechanics down all right for battles and all that. You got your timed hits, your timed defense. I'm liking it, so we'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.